everybody, it's me. Hi, I'm Michael. This is my 2012 Mercedes Sprinter van, passenger bus, whatever you want to call it. I, uh, I just got this about a week ago, and I have to say it's been one of the coolest cars, vans, trucks, whatever you want to call it, that I've ever owned. I've had a uh, four-door F250 turbo diesel before that I put a uh, Tapui tent, a rooftop tent on the back, on the top of, built a deck off the back of it. I love to modify cars and um, vans and trucks, if you will. And now, this is my new canvas. And so, when I was looking at these vans, I was, you know, doing like a lot of people do, which is you go on YouTube, you go online, and you look at other cool stuff that everybody else has posted up. Well, I didn't find that much stuff about the Mercedes passenger van. And so, after a week of owning it now, I thought this would be a cool thing to put out there to all of you other people that are possibly looking into this option for yourself, your family, whatever. And uh, so let me get started with the reason why I picked this van. So I picked this van because I want to be able to travel in it. Uh, I like to go car camping, uh, glamping, whatever you want to call it. And with most of the other options that I've, I've looked into, there's just not that much space for your stuff or not that much space for your passengers and also there's not that much hangout space inside and so I've always liked the sprinters uh, they're really hard to find used this was the only black one in Austin that I could find and so it's kinda like this one or a new one and I can't afford a new uh, Mercedes Sprinter so I got one, it's got 29,000 miles on it, it's a 2012, and so uh, the, let me just keep going, how about that? I, I, there's so many things I could say about what I look forward to with this, but I'm sure you're here because you want to look at the interior. So let's do that. Alright, so starting with my, uh, my favorite thing about this vehicle so far has been the view out of the window. It is gigantic. You, uh, I'm right now I'm parked at the Green Belt uh, here in Austin, Texas. I'm gonna go to the Green Belt when I'm done making this. And uh, as you can see, you can see a lot. And uh, even my dog Ninja can see a lot. She's super happy. And so, yeah, when you're driving down the road, you're higher up. And not only are you higher up, but you have this huge visibility. And so it makes driving a pleasure, actually, because, yeah, you can see a lot. And it's nice to be able to drive and see the world around you. All right, so huge windscreen. That is awesome. This area up here is pretty cool, too. This is the visor. It's a gigantic visor because, I mean, here's, I have a pretty big hand and it doesn't even fill up the visor. Uh, I guess it's got a little strap right here so you could put stuff. I don't ever use those. Uh, and then up on top of it, it's got this little nook. This is where I keep my headphones. So whenever I'm traveling, a little, uh, little napkin so I can wipe off, or a little terry cloth so I can wipe off the dash. You, when, when you have a nice car, you know how that is. You gotta keep it, keep it tight and right. And, uh, so yeah, you got a little storage nook up there. You got another one right here. Uh, I've tried putting my sunglasses here in this one, but the problem is is that anytime you go over bumps, it rattles and that sucks. So I ended up getting this little Rubbermaid. Uh, I believe I found this at Target. And it is a sunglass holder. And it works pretty well. And again, because the view is so gigantic, I don't. it doesn't block my view at all. Yes, a little Rubbermaid sunglass holder. And I got another one for the other side you can see over there. Just so that uh, Leah can put her sunglasses in there too. And again, another huge area up there. Alright, so the dash. One of the cool things I really like about the dash is the cup holders in the dash. I, I, I don't know what it is about it, but I just really like these cup holders in the dash. It makes it easy to get the coffee. 
you're not spilling. Um, something about cup holders in my dash makes me happy. Uh, you also have a little bit more like storage space. You could throw some junk or whatever. I don't know. Uh, then you have this middle storage bin. This one is rubber lined, so things don't slide around as much. Uh, that I just keep a knife in there. It's nice to have. This is also one of my favorite knives that I've ever owned. Let's see if it can focus. It's the Victoria Knox uh, Swiss Army Rescue Tool. The case glows, believe it or not. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Yeah, you can sort of see it. So yeah. I've never seen a knife where the case glows and then it has all the cool start, you know, locking blades and all that good stuff. Anyway, so, storage space there. Over here on the passenger side, a little bit more space because you don't have the speedometer and all that stuff. Uh, and it's just about the right size for a magazine. Again, another cup holder. Uh, let's see here, dash. It doesn't really tell you much. I'm used to vehicles that show you at least a little bit more information than this. I'm sitting here idling right now. And so all you get pretty much is speed, RPMs, gas, and uh, odometer. Yeah. And time. Oh, one of the other things too, this little zero right there, it also gives you a digital readout of speed. All right. Uh, anything else right here? No. That's the switches for your mirrors. Uh, huge mirrors too, which is really nice. And I do like that they have the blind spot and the other. Uh, even, even the mirror, the window to look at your mirrors is big. Uh, I got tinted this mirror or this window right here. I left that one completely clear so that it would kind of like extend my view if you will you can sort of see the difference on that side uh, the key is pretty cool it's one of those where it flips out um, see dome lights here you can make sure the back lights always stay off you can make them always come on or the middle it it makes it so that it only turns on when the door opens um, I'm not sure what this does it doesn't really do anything Let's see, the vents, those do as they look like they vent. This was an aftermarket stereo that the previous owner installed. Um, I like the sound in this car. It's nice that this has Bluetooth, but I do wish that it had an aux in, because uh, sometimes my friends have an issue with connecting with the Bluetooth and it's a pain in the ass. Uh, here's your, your controls. I got, you can change the temp. I just always keep it on cold because here in Texas it's hot as hell. Fan, you can turn the fan up or lower, recirculate. This is interesting. It means that it's only coming out of the vents, feet. Uh, anyways, all kinds of weird little things. This works the air conditioning in the back. So you can turn it on from here. Uh, I don't think you can turn it on from the back, so you can only turn it on from here. And then this is the temp for just the back, so you can turn the heater for the back AC, or, or on or off, whatever. I don't usually use that that much. It is nice to have, just so when I pick up the kids from school or whenever we're traveling, I can help the back stay cold. This is the weirdest thing about this van so far that I've seen, is the locks. You have to press this, I, I'm not even sure the, the trick. It's like you have to lock it before you can unlock it, or you have to press it twice. It's weird, trust me. If you buy one of these or if you own one of these, you know what I'm talking about. Your first week, you were probably trying to figure it out as well. This right here is where I keep uh, my iPad. So just so you know too, there's this little nook right here. There's one more nook. There's your another pair of cup holders. This, uh, this cup holder expands or contracts. This one is solid. It's standard size, again, for a Starbucks coffee cup. Fits there pretty good. This one is way too big for that. Um, so you'd have to pinch it. Uh, I don't usually use these cup holders, but I really do like having my charging right here. So, I mean, when I first got it, this was usually closed. This is a little essential oil, so it smell good. Uh, this is closed, right? But then you can't charge your iPhone and stuff because this is the only uh, charger up in the front. So I keep this open to charge my phone. 
and I got one of these that has two dongles on it. And then the cool part about this is that I can uh, stick my iPad with, so iPad Air with a case, it fits perfectly snug right here. So then what I can do is while I'm driving, uh, let's see here, get text messages obviously, but Google Maps. So this is a lot easier way than pulling out my phone, looking at it. I can drive, look at where I'm going, and then just look down and see, okay, this is where I need to go. And then what I do is I stick my phone just up above it whenever I'm driving to. So yeah, just for all you guys out there, this is kind of a handy way to do my GPS and to type it in. It actually turns it into like a flat surface to type on. And that's just by using the cup holder uh, and pulling it out. And it's just snug enough that when it, it's, it'll stay if I want it to stay. And uh, I can pull it out whenever I park and then take it in with me or what, what have you. So that's something that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see here. Emergency brake. This is weird. At first I had no idea how to disengage the emergency brake because I'm really used to... Uh, using the floor kind so with this you pull it up and then when you want to leave you unlock it um, let's see here more cool stuff that I really like about this this van I mean the dogs all right is that these armrests so I guess this is a German engineering thing but so they go up which is great and then it makes it easier to walk into the back area or walk from the back area into the front area but what I like about them is that they're adjustable so you can go all the way down or you can kind of click it up to and now that's your base or so you can adjust exactly how high you like your armrest to be that's I guess that's the highest point or again all the way up so that's something that's pretty cool both of the uh, both sides have that uh, adjustable seat or uh, seat belts obviously uh, let's see over here so on the passenger side out the door oh, somebody's doing some lawn work out there so maybe I won't do that but so the uh, the cup holder and the door it just so happens it's about the exact right height for a Yeti uh, 30 ounce Rambler which is one of my favorite cups 30 ounces stainless steel double wall it keeps your drinks cold and then uh, a space to put your stuff and then there's also a little storage bin down there okay so over here on the passenger side you have uh, two storage compartments which I think are pretty cool too uh, this one right here under the seat is so on the other side it is a, a fuse box holder on this side it's a pretty good size little hidden space and uh, I don't know it looks like if you were to put some stuff in there it probably would help if it got padded somehow um, just so that stuff doesn't jostle around in there and then below it is another it's hard to do with one hand another little space that I guess you could put some valuable stuff in there I don't know so yeah that's pretty cool I don't I don't see many cars or vans that have little hidden uh, compartments in them all right so let's see here uh, on this side you got this knob right here it changes you can't I don't think you can see it but it it changes the angle of your butt area this guy either pumps the seat up higher or it pumps the seat lower so you can raise or lower the height of your seat. And then this guy right here is what you use to uh, recline it or make it not reclined. Uh, you got right here your fuses, a bunch of stuff. Uh, it looks like a battery is down here considering it says battery and there's some torque sets I'll probably take that apart at some point in time uh, this is 
where I kind of just throw my trash, I got some uh, Listerine because that's always good to keep on hand. My cup holder, and then this is where I usually actually also throw my change down in there because there's not really a good place to put change in this in this bus. In emergencies, I am a huge fan of emergency. Never leave home without it. All right, so, and then this is my desk. I'll show you all that in a minute. And then, let's see, this too, so yeah, this huge big door. And then under it, this is where I kind of keep my just quick detailing rags and my wires quick detailer. And uh, that way it just, you know, keep it nice. It's been raining here in Austin, so it's, it's not nice. Uh, let's walk into the back. And so yeah, both doors have that situation. All right, so these little Rubbermaid things I got at Target, they're pretty cool. I've, I've just started using them, but you can actually fold it down. I don't, it's not really strong enough to put like a laptop on, but I could see it turning into a little, maybe a sandwich or something. I don't know. I mostly like it for these little, all these slots that it has. Uh, this, it just has, it, it adds to the stock back. The stock back is just, it's, it's mesh. It doesn't serve much of a use. Uh, so yeah, I got them for both sides. And then on this side over here, I keep, you know, extra leash, dog food, all that good stuff. Um, the back of the seats is pretty kind of boring. Oh yeah, obviously electrical tape. Um, you have like a little storage area right here. And then another little storage area right there. And this is where I keep... So what you will really want to have too, if you own this vehicle, you'll find out real quick, is you need some form of protection from the sun. All right, so these are just the jumbo large, uh, what do you call it, uh, sun visors from Pet Boys. And I might as well pop them open. And uh, yeah, they get the job done. And so they get the job done and they uh, store under the seat really well. Little iPad case I just got and I keep my book bag there. On this side, sometimes when I'm hanging out in the bus, it gets mosquitoes, so I keep a little extra thing of mosquito citronella candle. Uh, I just kind of thought about doing this, of adding a little trash right here, so that way the kids can throw their trash. And it just keeps a bunch of trash off the ground, and since you have all this space, why not? So uh, this now I'm sitting in the second row. I took the first row out because ultimately I really did want to have more just kind of like lounge space, if you will, in this bus. And so if you were to look at it from outside, this is what it looks like. As you see, I have some pillows. That way if I want to just pull over, take a nap. So I took the seat out, and then what I did was I got this, that uh, like cushiony, it looks like puzzle pieces. I got it from Lowe's, it was only 20 bucks. And that way it's got some cushion underneath your feet or whatever. And so you have a couple pillows and a blanket over there. And then, let's see here, I'll show you all height. So those are the seats. So I kept the back two rows of seats. This is the 144 uh, Sprinter, which means it only has three total rows of seats. I took out one row, don't need it. Plus now I have a big area to put stuff. So if I'm ever going to the store and I get something big, it can go right here and I don't have to deal with those seats. I don't need more than seven passengers in the back. So that's enough for me. Uh, I have two kids, I got a boy and a girl, and usually the cool part about keeping these two rows as they are is that they both get their own row. And if you have kids, you know that they don't really like having to sit right next to each other. And because there's a little passageway right here, they can kind of switch out and do whatever. Uh, underneath the seat is, I keep a little soft-sided cooler uh, this one doesn't have anything yet, and then that one's got a little portable speaker that I like to carry around with me. Uh, that way, again, like whenever I post up somewhere in a park, I like to be park-ready, as you will. Uh, 
I can uh, enjoy my afternoon or enjoy my time with the kids, pick them up, and I can hang out while they play with their friends. Uh, so this over here, let me show you all this. Uh, the previous owner was using this as a tour bus, and so he installed all these cup holders, so these don't come stock. We'll say that much, not stock. But this is the emergency exit, and so some people have been asking, I've been starting to read this, these sprinter forums, how do you increase airflow in the back? So you can actually just undo these two latches, and then this window actually completely opens up. And uh, so I'm going to try to devise a way that's easy that to prop it open. Probably use some yoga blocks or something. And then I'm guessing I'm probably going to need to come up with some sort of screen mesh idea just so bugs don't come in while that's down. But anyways, I like that the whole window opens there. Uh, the, this door is super heavy. Talking about speakers real quick too. So there's a speaker in the center, two on the sides. It's okay. Um, I've definitely had better speakers in other vehicles I've owned. The sound in these is not going to rattle you. It's not going to sound like a concert, but you are gonna get sound. So you got tweeter, uh, woofer here. And same thing on the other side, tweeter, woofer. And then there's also one more set in the back woofer tweeter one of those cup holder things that the guy put in I need to remove it it's broken and um, another cool thing that I like too is there's some tie downs right up here in the front both sides right here too and uh, that way if you you know like I was saying if you put something big in here you can actually lash it down here's another tie down right here um, if you're looking towards the back so it's still very utilitarian. I mean, like I said, I can pick up seven kids. I can take them to soccer. I can take them to the movies. My kids love that I purchased this van because uh, they're looking forward to birthday parties now where they can all ride together. And then having this big space in the middle, it's fun because also as kids, they can stand up completely without hitting their head. I'm six foot tall, so I have to duck. Uh, I don't really like the tall ones. I like the shorter one. The tall ones look too much like a mobile home or a, uh, uh, a FedEx bus. And so, let's see here. So the door is really heavy. This is something that my kids have not really enjoyed doing is having to open the door and close it. All right, so there's, there's uh, the dog. And what I'm gonna show y'all real quick is just how I usually like to set up my desk. All right, so that's it. It really could not be simpler. Uh, it's a TV tray, and it folds up and it stores right next to my seat really easily. And then when I'm here, I can very easily just sit at it. And if I wanna get some work done, I can sit down and get some work done. <laughs> uh, and I also like the, this version because it has all the windows. I know sometimes people get the, the ones that don't have the windows so that they can have more privacy and stuff. But personally, I feel like that would make it feel really claustrophobic, but also I like to just look out the windows. I mean, if I'm going traveling or something, my kids also like to look out the windows. So uh, I don't really want a van where you can't look out the windows and have big, huge, awesome windows like this does. All right, so going to the back seat, not much more to kind of talk up here. One of those cup holder things he put in. Uh, again, there's the speakers. Uh, let's see, so I am six foot tall and my knees don't hit. It's not like a lot of room back here, but you could you could put four adults back here and it's not a big deal. So you could, you could easily put seven adults also in this van. So it's not just seven kids, it's seven adults. Something that people say that they like about this too is that each person has their own uh, seat belt. I have to say that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention it. I took out all the headrests, partially because I have kids. I mean, I'm not usually taking around adults, I'm taking around kids and they don't need the headrests. But, so with the headrests here, let's see if I can put this in. There we go. So with the headrest there, it, it 
I don't know if you can tell, but even if I put it all the way down, it blocks a lot of the rear visibility out of the windows. But more of what I noticed is that it blocks it from people getting to talk to each other. And it also, by taking out all the headrests, I've noticed that I, um, it just feels more open in here, less, less uh, dungeon-y. And so, I know there's, the headrests are there for safety and this, that, and the other, but like I said, I'm not carrying around uh, adults, I'm carrying around kids and their heads don't even go that high. So why keep that, I keep that one headrest right there though, I kind of stick it right there underneath this armrest and it fits pretty flush. So that I can put one headrest right here and then I attach a tablet on the back of it with one of those tablet headrest holders and then the kids can watch a movie in the back seat together. So, let me go outside. I know this is kind of long. I, I, I've never done this before. But I really do love this bus. So let's see here. It's a black, obviously black Mercedes 2500 uh, 2012. I painted the wheels black too. So it's black on black on black, black tint. Uh, there's running boards were pre-installed. I have to say I really do like having the running boards because uh, it just makes life easier. So the reason why I wanted to get out is so I could show you all the back area and of course it's locked. All right, yeah, like I said, the weird door lock thing. All right, so the back area. So. Other things I really like about this back area is that now you have your own little storage space. And for me, like I said, I like to be park ready, if you will. I got a couple chairs. These are my favorite new chairs. They are the Freestyle Rocker. They fold up flat and you can actually rock in them. They're sick. I've never had chairs with shocks before. I uh, got some blankets, some more little chairs for the kids, speaker. Uh, I carry around a case of waters because it's always nice to have just an extra water on you um, for the dog or for a person. You can see a little rug that I like to throw down sometimes. And then I keep just all my knickknacks and heart cleaning and just stuff in, in that guy. The doors have little uh, storage bins. I don't even know. I guess, oh, that's so you could open the door from the inside, I guess, yeah. Uh, so each one has a little storage bin. I keep little huggy wipes in there. And then the other cool thing, so they can, the doors can stop right here, or, I had to figure this out at first too, you can pull this, this part up, and then now the door will, as you probably all know, go all the way out, and then it'll stay. It won't go anywhere. Uh, and then you have your whole back area. And then the cool part about that too is this is just about the right height to sit down. And now you have a seat and what what have you. And so yeah, that's the back. Uh, big windows. Big. It's a big bus. I haven't had an issue with uh, you know drive-throughs yet. And uh, yeah, I hope that y'all have liked this. This is just a. My first little four, four lay, parlay, whatever you want to call it, into uh, YouTube videos describing stuff that other people probably would like to see. All right, well, happy vanning. Bye.